Good morning, Dell Tech Vision, Time and Expense. Introduction, Timesheets, and Expense Reports. Welcome to Vision, Time and Expense. The goal is to gain understanding and working knowledge of Dell Tech Vision's time and expense applications. The timesheet allows you to enter all the information required to process your labor charges for individual labor periods. This is a two-week time period in this example. The top of the timesheet form displays information about the timesheet, including the name of the employees whose timesheet is open, the date of the selected labor period, and the current status of the timesheet. In progress, submitted, approved, posted and the current status of the labor period, open or closed. The timesheet displays rows and columns for regular and overtime hours as you enter time. The timesheet also displays the project name, task name, labor code or activity, description for the current role, as well as the comments, regular hours, and overtime for the current timesheet. So let's get started. So you go to your menu bar, you go to time and expense, and you click on <clears throat> time. Select a labor period that is either open or in progress, and then click your OK button. The selected timesheet opens. So you enter regular hours in the day date field, or click in the regular field in the lower section of the form and enter hours in that field. For hourly employees, enter hours in the date, regular, and overtime fields as needed. For salary employees, all, all hours are entered generally in the regular field. Enter your hours in the regular field. Overtime will not calculate. Enter your comments here. Click in the comments field and enter comments. If comments are required, you will not be able to save your timesheet without a comment. Maximum lines of text, I believe are two lines, it's possibly increased. Drop down lists contain previous comments entered on the current timesheet, global comments set up in company configuration only, comments from a copied timesheet. Comments can appear as on detailed project reports invoices and submitted timesheets. When comments are added, the box turns gray. After you enter your comments, press tab or click out of the box to return to the hour field. Your comments appear in the description below the time grid whenever the cursor is in the corresponding cell. Click on magnifier to View the drop down box. Define the project phase, task activity, and codes and billing category combination which are charging time by entering the appropriate information. So you'll see a drop down box in the project field and so on. These are your activity or labor codes. You would select them. New row. To insert, click here. To insert a new row, enter all hours by clicking the last row of the timesheet grid. Click Insert on the grid to insert a blank row. Click here to delete a row. Highlight your line and hit Delete. Save your changes in the upper left hand corner on the Save button and selecting Save from the File menu. Submit your timesheet. Click on Submit button or select Submit from the File menu. The system submits and prints timesheet. Once timesheets are submitted, no changes can be made. Only the system administrator can change this timesheet status back to progress to make changes. Um, actually, if you have the rights to do that, you can unsubmit your timesheet, but generally the administrator. The label submitted appears on the timesheet in the right hand side. If you work on many of the same projects from period to period, you can enter your hours more quickly by copying the project tasks and labor codes from previously entered timesheets. Note you can only copy project tasks and labor codes, you cannot copy the hours of the comments. 
However, comments from copy timesheets will transfer to the comment drop down menu. To copy a timesheet, open the timesheet in which you want to copy data. Click the copy from the prior period timesheet on the labor timesheet toolbar. Then it displays the timesheet period selection box. Next slide. From the list of the timesheet period dialog box, select the timesheet you want to copy and click on it. Click OK. Vision copies the selected timesheet. After you make your copy, all the data in the current timesheet is resorted by project, task, and labor code. <coughs> Information is needed. Timesheet ratios. Vision displays up to five ratios when you select this option. The ratios compare the distributed direct billable hours to total hours, total hours less benefit hours, standard hours, standard hours less benefit hours, and target hours. Let me show you an example. To view the timesheet ratios, open the timesheet for which you want to view the ratios. Click Show Ratios. Vision opens the Ratio dialog box. And here are the definitions. Direct divided by total. Direct divided by total less benefit. Direct billable hours. Direct standard hours. Direct standard benefit hours. Note, standard hours are set up in the employee records, for instance, 8 hours a day. Click OK to close the ratios dialog and return to the timesheet form. Print your timesheet. Open the timesheet you want to print. Click Print, Print Detailed Report to print a detailed report for the current timesheet. Time Summarize the report will show project number, but does not include the project tasks, names, or comments. If a project is one more than one row, the summarized report does not summarize the rows. You'll automatically get a preview of the timesheet before it prints. Click Print Report. Vision displays the print dialog screen. You then have the option to select the printer name, print all, print range, number of copies, paper size, and source. Print click in the dialog box. Vision prints the timesheet report. You can download and email the report from this page. Expenses. Using the expense report application, you can enter an expense date, description, and dollar amount for each expense item. Define project, phase, task, and account values associated with each item. Determine company paid and billing item <coughs> options for each expense item. Enter your mileage, dollar amount calculated automatically. Vision automatically calculates the total expense and, based on this calculation and the amounts you want to enter for advance payment, company paid items, automatically calculates the amount due. Vision also displays the project task and account code names for the selected expense. Let's get started. Click the expense report from your time and expense menu item. Click time and expense report from the vision menu. Vision displays the expense report dialog. This dialog displays a list of all your unposted expense reports. To create a new expense report for you, for you be sure your employee number appears in the employee field. No staff will, <clears throat> will default to their own names in general. Administrators and group leaders will be able to access other employees in this screen. Click New. Vision opens a new expense report. Enter expense report data. Enter a name in the report field and a date in the report field on the expense form. When Vision opens a new expense report, it inserts one blank row on the expense report grid. Enter expense information for a single expense item in the fields on the blank row as needed. Enter expense information for the expense item in the appropriate fields on the blank row as needed. To enter another expense item, click Insert on the expense report grid. Vision inserts a blank row on the grid. Use the drop down list for the list of global categories. For each item on your report, you can enter additional information, the reasoning for the expense, by utilizing the detail line on the expense form. The details dialog box appears on your expense report. For instance, when travel category is selected, the detail dialog box will include fields for mileage. Once mileage is entered, 
reimbursement route will be calculated automatically based on a company reimbursement rate. Reimbursement rate per mile may be an unedible depending on the company policy. It will be grayed out if it cannot be changed. Bill column. If this expense is billable to client, check this box. This will allow this expense line to show up in billing. Sometimes companies will have this automatically selected if they want to expenses for regular type revenue generating projects to be billed to clients. If so, this field will be gray out and uneditable. Paid column. If this expense is company paid, check this box for an example, a company credit charge amount. Account column. This is a general ledger account for this expense. Normally, users will not be able to modify this column. Click to save your entries. Save your changes by clicking on the Save button in the upper left-hand corner or selecting Save from the File menu. Click on the Submit button or select Submit from the File menu. The system submits and prints expense report. Once expenses are permitted, no changes can be made. Only the system administrator has authority to do this or others with rights. So I hit Submit. You can copy an existing expense report to duplicate the expense entries and then edit and save the report to create a new expense report. Vision does not copy the expense report name or report date to the new expense report, nor does it copy the date, detailed mileage, or amounts for the individual expense items. <clears throat> so to copy, click Time and Expense Report from the Vision main menu. Vision displays the expense report selection to copy dialog box. This dialog displays a list of your unposted expense reports. To include posted expense reports in the list, select the Show Posted Expense Reports option on the Expense Report dialog at the bottom. To copy one of your expense reports, be sure your employee number appears in the Employee field. From the list, select the expense report you want to copy and click Copy. Enter a new report name in the report name field and a new report date in the report date field of the expense form. Enter a new date in the date field and a new amount in the field for each expense item on the expense form. Edit the, <clears throat> edit the expense form as needed. Click Save to save your entries. Print an expense report. From your drop down menu, open the expense report you want to print. Click Print, Print Detailed Report. To print a detailed timesheet, <coughs> report for the current time. Here's your detailed expense report and now I'm going to send it to a printer. Click print report. <coughs> Vision displays the print detailed dialog box. You then have the option to select the printer name, print all, print range, number of copies, paper size, and source. Click print on the Expense dialog, Vision prints the expense report. You can download and email the report as well as on this page. <clears throat>